This is the week before Paris started hosting the Olympics. Me is always going to work on my trottinette. Also me escaping the city hustle in the French countryside. Before I left Paris for the period it's hosting the Olympics, I captured some parts of my journey to work. The city was transforming to welcome thousands of visitors who would watch the spectacle live. To be honest, I'm not particularly excited about the Olympic Games in Paris. I'm not a fan of them and, in my opinion, Paris feels too small to host such a massive event. It seems like the whole city is becoming inconvenient for both its residents and tourists. Paris is preparing for the Olympics. Uh, normally this whole street is like a lot of traffic, but now it's closed. Uh, only, you know, the, the bicycles, electric scooters can pass, but not the cars. You can see pedestrians going on the, you know, the roads, which is like one, two, three, four lanes. <laughs> one for buses or three lanes. I know, two for buses, two for cars and two for buses. It's insane. It actually, like, I don't like this thing of the Olympics going on, uh, like a true Parisian, because it's everywhere is the construction works, you know, the arenas, some roads are blocked, it takes more time to go home, some metro stations are closed. Yeah, and I'm going to the to the French village not to witness all of this mess. I think I found my peace in the village. Recently I've discovered something about myself. I need to escape from the city life from time to time. It's essential for me to break away from the routine and the pressures of the city to completely reset. I have to admit, it's not easy working remotely without a proper desk setup, especially when everyone around is on holiday. It takes a decent amount of energy to concentrate, resist distraction and do my job properly. Being surrounded by nature helps me disconnect from the city's hustle and re-energize, but it also brings more temptations to just relax and do nothing. At the same time, I recognize that it's a privilege. A privilege to work from almost anywhere. Privilege or just a choice. Sometimes the reality is this mess. Well, um, 
to justify it yesterday i was working on my videos didn't have time to tidy it up and today woke up very late i started working and still haven't time to to clean things up but i'll do it now the city and have to work remotely, I often hear two contradictory voices in my head. One voice is happy that I'm taking care of myself and my well-being. While the other one nags that I'm not doing enough, that I'm not working hard enough here. I'm someone who's used to giving 100% to whatever I'm doing, and when I do less, I tend to blame myself for not doing enough. I don't have the answers to this dilemma. Or is it even a problem at all? I don't know. Instead of just traversing the Concorde, uh, but now it's all blocked, and yeah, I'm traversing the Concorde and then the bridge after it, the Concorde bridge, I guess. Uh, but now I have to make a huge turn, and even yeah, the Alexander III bridge is also blocked. There are like tribunes over there, so I have to take another uh, bridge, and it takes more time, and the there are less bicycle lanes, and it's like. Everything is a mess. how I film all of my rides <laughs> on that scooter. 